Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 28th of 2024 is titled Tulip Nebula and Black Hole Cygnus X1. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Tulip Nebula, and that is over in the constellation of Cygnus, and we're seeing a very bright cluster of stars energizing the light around it and causing it to glow. And that's what we see toward the center of the image here, as those hot stars excite the hydrogen gas around it, cause that gas to glow and give off that distinct red color that we associate with hydrogen. Now also visible in this image is a black hole and that is what is known as Cygnus X1. Now you see the uh, that it's highlighted there. Now you might wonder how we can see a black hole and how a black hole could be giving off light that way because black holes are completely dark. Well, in this case, we're not seeing the black hole, we're seeing the companion star to the black hole. So the black hole is in a binary system, that's two stars orbiting around each other. And that means we're not seeing the black hole itself, we're seeing the star that it is with. So how do we know it's a black hole? Well, first of all, it's an x-ray source. And we know that from the name as it is the first x-ray source discovered in the constellation of Cygnus. And that's how it gets his name as Cygnus X1. Now, stars do not give off x-rays very weakly in some cases, but for the most part, a star itself is not energetic enough to give off high energy x-rays. So the fact that this does means that there's actually two stars moving there. And when we can watch the motions of the one star, we can then infer how much mass has to be present around for that other star in order to account for its motions. So we can use our understanding of gravity to determine that there is an object there that is many, many times larger than our sun, probably several dozen times larger than our sun. And the only thing that could be that large and not be visible to us, because if that were a star that massive, then it would be easily seen. But the only thing that can contain that much mass and still be invisible would be a black hole. Where do the x-rays come from? Well, the x-rays come from material from the star that we see. That as it moves around the black hole and the two move around each other in their orbit, material will form around the black hole in an accretion disk, a disk of material. And as that energizes, that will be heated to very high temperatures, much higher than a star, and will therefore begin to give off high energy x-rays. Now, the other thing that we don't quite see here is the jets of material coming from this. Uh, objects like this with an accretion disk will spew out material perpendicular to the accretion disk. And while we don't see the jet directly in this image, we can see the bow shock uh, out there also labeled and uh, noted for you there. And that is caused by that very distant star Sig where Cygnus X1 is located. The jet of material is causing a shock wave moving out. And we can see the great distance at which it has moved through space as this has happened. So as this energy pushes out, it pushes out more and more material. As that interacts with the other material, we get the shock wave that we see that we see here, all caused by the black hole or that is part of the Cygnus X1 system. So that was our picture of the day for August 28th of 2024. It was titled Tulip Nebula and Black Hole Cygnus X1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.